Okay, today we're gonna do something a little different. I made this stencil. I know it's not the prettiest looking thing, but I made this using a 3D pen. And this is what the video is about today on this glide bait or walk the dog. As soon as I seen it, I said, man, I got to make something to make it look like a snake. I don't have anything, anything that looks like a snake. So I was figuring, let me try to make something to resemble. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I haven't painted nothing yet with it. So I don't know what it's going to look like when it's done, but I'm hoping I can mimic a snake anyway. I'm going to try because. This thing, I don't know, I look at it and it looks like a snake to me. It thing will be pretty on top of the water. Oh yeah. But I just wanna show you a couple. This is one I made. And this is one of, this is this stencil right here I made. And um, yeah, I asked my girl, she was in the room with me when I was uh, making the stencil. I said, pick out some colors. And this is the colors that she picked out. Like, pretty cool, man. You know what I mean? Like, nobody else is going to have something like this. You make your own... Make your own stencils. You can make it on anything, too. This is glide bait. This is a 110. Then I have a rattle trap. I actually made a video for this, too. But, um... This is a lot more work to do. And I always show them crawdad patterns, so I figure let me try to do something a little different. Try to do some snake pattern. Let's try to do something a little different today. But yeah, first thing you're gonna need is obviously is a 3D pen. This is actually really nice. It's not not that expensive. But yeah, um, and then you're gonna need plastic. Uh oh, I dropped it. You're gonna need the plastic this way if you wanna. Then you're going to need a wood burning tool. Definitely going to need this. You'll see in the video. And you're going to need some. Make sure your room is ventilated. I got two fans. Um, it goes out the window. Because if you don't, when you start using this wood burning tool, it's going to stink the house up. It just, the plastic starts burning. And it starts melting down. And it starts throwing all this nasty smoke. And you, your house is going to stink, man. You're going to have, it's going to be a couple days too, man, because it's stinky. So make sure you ventilate, ventilate, ventilate. Open some windows, something, man. Definite, definite do that. But besides that, well, I'm going to show you guys and girls how I made this. And then this is part one. This, I'm going to paint, make the video for me painting it. I'm going to use the exact same one that I used. And yeah. Now let's, now let's let me uh let's get to making a stencil. Show you how it works real quick. It's very simple. Very simple to make. That's why I'm showing you this, because this was the easiest one to make. All right, let's have some fun now.
Right, I'm back. I'm all done. I cut out a couple little notches in the top just to make it a little added little detail. But yeah, I was trying to follow this, but obviously you can tell I didn't do a good job. But it's going to be cool because I'm the only one that's going to have this pattern. So yeah, I'm about to actually make a video. And then it's going to be part two. Part two is the video. And me painting using the stencil. So, uh, thank you for watching. My name is Rick and I'm out.